Hello, so we're gonna make a styrofoam printing plate that we will print um, an image from and place that into our sketchbook. So this is our printmaking skill builder. You're gonna get a piece of styrofoam. It may not look very pretty like this one. And what I want you to do is use this square template to cut a nice square from. So you'll kind of just lay it down Try to get it over to the edge. Maybe we could use the styrofoam for something else. And just take a pencil and just press gently into the styrofoam around the square. And then <clears throat> you'll carefully cut the square out. Now, unfortunately, we can't recycle the styrofoam. So the smaller pieces like this, please put it in a trash can, not a blue recycle bin. And then for us to know that this is your printing plate, you're gonna get a piece of masking tape. You're gonna place it onto the table. Use your pencil to write your name and the day you have art and tape it to the back. So this is the back because I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but there is a recyclable image on here and a four and an L pressed in for um, whoever used the styrofoam plate. <clears throat> And so you're gonna tape your name to the back and then the front, and I've got a little bit of um, some stuff here on the front, but that's okay. And then you're gonna take the circle pattern, place it in the center of the square, and gently trace around it, gently, with your pencil. Not pressing too deep in there, just so that you can see that circle. And I feel like on the screen, it's kinda hard to see with the lighting but there is a circle there. So then I'm gonna ask you to take a chisel tip marker and go over or around the inside of this circle to make a nice thick round outline. It's a little wonky, but it's okay. And then I have this handout of different emojis. I think this is the most simplest, best way to do your printing skill builder. Just find a very simple image. So we're gonna just do an emoji image. And you're going to gently, lightly draw this onto your styrofoam. Now, if you're real good at drawing them and you don't need any practice or anything like that, you could just do it straight with a Sharpie. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to, with my marker, draw two eyes and then the smile. It may not be perfect, but it's close enough. And then I'm gonna color this in because if you look at this image, the eyes and the mouth are black, so I'm coloring this in. Now, all of the white space, you are going to press down. And we're going to make the black lines and the black heart and smile stay up. So we're pressing down all the white space. So you're going to get a dull pencil, a dull color pencil or a dull graphite pencil. <clears throat> and you're just going to press down on the styrofoam. So since I'm using a green, dark green colored pencil, it's actually coloring this white styrofoam. But I'm making sure not to color over the black marker. Okay, so you can see that my sm love face or um, smiley face is green now, but that probably isn't enough pressure, so I'm gonna go back over it again, pressing hard, trying to make sure I get these the point here at the top of the heart. And you wanna press down firmly, but not so firm that you end up making a hole. So you're gonna find the styrofoam's gonna catch your pencil a little bit and not wanna let you go a certain direction. So pulling towards you is helpful. Pushing away, not so much. So always pull towards you and you're pressing down firmly so you can get all of this white area away from the marker, the black marker.
If you make a hole in your styrofoam, that's okay. We can put some tape on the back of it, or if we have to, and your, your styrofoam plate breaks somehow, we can glue it to a piece of cardboard, and the cardboard will help it stay together, and you can print from that. But if that happens to you, I will show you how to do that. All right, so I feel like I have most of the inside of the face pressed down. So now I have all this white edge around here. You might have thought, okay, she's finished. But if I print this like this, I will have this black square around my hearts and my mouth. So I don't want that. I want the circle around my heart and mouth. So I'm going to press down on the outer edge and color this in. So that's how you create a styrofoam printing plate to print from. All right, so now that you've created your styrofoam printing plate, you're ready to print it. So inside the printmaking studio you're going to find ink trays and all they are are styrofoam trays to put ink in you're going to need a brayer and some ink i'll probably pick the color for your skill builder but after that if you decide to do some wow work you can use whatever color you want so whenever you're putting ink onto the tray you're just going to squeeze and pull a short line across the tray. Now, if you get a jar of ink instead of this um, squeeze bottle, you get a jar, you'll untwist the cap, you'll get a popsicle stick, pick up some ink out of the jar with the popsicle stick and then spread it around in a line. Then you need to get an even coating of ink on your brayer. So you're going to roll one way and you can see my ink is not covered evenly. Then you're going to roll the other way roll back this way and this way and this way now you know you have enough ink if you see you can see in on the screen these ridges these little higher spots so it's kind of a texture it's not smooth it's kind of almost bumpy you can also see those ridges on the brayer you know you have enough ink if you have those ridges if you don't have the ridges, then you probably need to put a little bit more ink on your tray and roll it again. So you always want to work on a placemat. If your area or your styrofoam printing plate is small, you can use these manila placemats. Otherwise, use the blue placemats in the painting studio. And now that I have ink rolled on my brayer, I'm going to roll the brayer over the top of my printing plate. And you can see where the black marker was, it kind of turned to brown because that's the color that I'm using. And I roll one way, and then I roll the other way. Now you can see some raised areas along the corners. Those are a little too high and it caught the ink. That's okay. Printmaking is not perfect and that's the art of printmaking. That's what makes it so interesting is that it's not perfect. So then you're going to print directly into your sketchbook. So you're gonna open up your sketchbook to the printmaking page, printing printmaking studio. You're going to fold this so it stays open. And you have two squares to print in. If you get a nice print off the first one, you don't have to do the second square. If you don't get a very good print the first time, I want you to roll ink again and try a second time. Sometimes it takes more than one time to get it printed correctly or neatly. So now that I've turned over my printing plate, I'm rubbing with my fingertips, trying to make sure that the printing plate doesn't move. The great thing about ink is it's sticky, so once it touches your paper, it does kind of want to stick there and not move on you. So I'm going to rub the back of the printing plate with my fingers, hold the paper down, because like I said, the paper will stick, and then I'm going to pull this plate off. And that's a pretty good print. I probably don't need to do it again um, in this square, but if you want to, you'll just lay it back down on your placemat. All right, 
and then you're finished. You're going to put this onto the drying rack open so it dries. You can make some notes down here. I left that down at the bottom to, if you want to make some notes to remind you how to do the styrofoam printmaking process. If you don't think you're going to ever use this again, you can throw this in the trash. But I know I will probably use this again with other classes. So I'm going to get a wet wipe and I'm going to clean this off. You can run this under the water, under the faucet, and use a sponge to clean this off. But um, the, the baby wipes we like to use during the printing process because let's say I want to do a different color now. I've printed brown and now I want to do, let's say, red. You need to clean your, your printing plate off and you don't want to run it under the sink because it gets really wet and it'll need to dry before you put more ink on. So if you use a baby wipe, it's not as wet as water coming out of the faucet. So you can just wipe and clean off your printing plate. It's not perfect. You can see some of the brown still on there in the cracks, but that's okay. And then I could get um, move to a different table or find a friend who's got some ink a color that I like roll it out put that on there and print it again and with the baby wipe just make sure that you're not wasteful so that you've used both sides before you get another baby wipe but you probably will go through I would say three to five baby wipes when you're print making especially if you're doing different colors and that's how you print with a styrofoam printing plate